Uh, you have a particular set of skills, don't you? <laughs> well, who have you been talking to? Picking someone's pocket is misdirection in action. When you can take something from someone without them even knowing you took it until you're long gone, then you can misdirect anyone in any situation. So, Harry, teach us the art of the steal. What's your secret? My secret? Uh, my secret would be charm, wit, and chemical attraction. Yeah? No, you think I'm kidding? You, sir, you are very polite. I'm gonna hand you my jacket. The weight in your arms disguising the feeling of your old leather wallet being lifted. Pay attention to this man, because you'll be putting his lessons to the test tonight. Give me my wallet. Ah. You know, people see a pretty girl, they're not thinking about their valuables. I'm so sorry. Could you pass me a tissue, please? Be a good Samaritan. Make someone trust you. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry to interrupt, but last week my friend had her purse stolen from the same exact seat, so you might want to move your bag. Just saying. Sometimes confidence is all you need. Wow, I feel so proud. Oh, no, hang on. Uh, who took the pepper spray off someone? That's not good. <laughs> Round three. What you said in class hit me. I don't doubt it. Cute. I knew throwing you at the bottom of the murder board would make you spin out. Do I belong here, in your mind? Simple question, really. I was the one who recruited you here. I believe you may be special. And you keep working as hard as you are, and we're gonna have a talk. Very soon. My drinks are free, and you're not my type. Really? All right. How about I list five things about you to prove that I'm right, and if any of them are false, you get to sit down and buy me a drink. Go. One, you're vain. You just had your teeth whitened a couple of months ago instead of getting that cavity filled, and your bottom right molar shows up when you smile. Two, you're materialistic. That Bremont on your wrist probably costs more than I make in a month. Which brings me to three, you do this a lot. Your friend over there bailed as soon as we started talking. You're used to girls falling all over you in bars. Even though four, you've never really had a meaningful relationship. No one's ever broken your heart because you've never let a woman close enough. Which tells me five, you're bad news. You're not interested in anything real. So I uh, can't sit in that. No. You don't get to sit. But... Okay, so... So... What? So I Should I do something? I'm sorry, you're sitting like can't. I can't. Yeah, uh, at least let me get your number. You know I'm the CTO of a telecom company. With my clearance, I can get any number I want, even yours. Let's see about that now, won't we? Second half of your training begins now, and it's not going to get any easier. Paris, you're dragging. Diana will stay on site, providing support, while we do the rest. Shelby will be herself and heiress. Searching for investment options. I'll be on site as myself as well, making sure nothing goes wrong. Alex and I will be opposing his private security, pitching Sean Gregory on our company services. Care to make an exchange? And Ryan will pose as one of the fund's clients. You look good. It hasn't changed. Changed. It's all changed. Excuse me. 
Logan Martin? You work for Omaha Pension, right? So do I. I, um, I just started, and I would love to get the inside scoop on everyone. You want to grab a drink at the hotel lobby where it's quiet? Diana online. Logan Martin is taking a nice purple fall assisted nap in the back seat. But I'm happy with my security. Oh, we are too. It was so easy to crack. This is our client list. And we didn't even use our best cracks. You're highly vulnerable, Sean. I have to talk to the partners. But if you get us a proposal, a follow-up is not out of the question. Sounds great. Now, why don't we go and enjoy the party, hmm? Okay, so why don't I head over there with you while my colleague whips up that proposal? I just don't like to let a potential client go. You don't mind, Alex? Do you? Sure, of course. <laughs> sure. Just go easy on my firewall, would you? I got you, Sean. Owen and Alex got Sean's finger scan. Looks like ditching me at the office is about to pay off. I see Sean and Emily meeting, moving closer. We will accomplish so much more together. Mm. Mm. Okay, hot. But is now really the time? I do have a hotel. We keep talking. No, 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 no. Let's hang in. Oh. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, please don't tell anyone. I'll definitely lose my job if they find out about us. And as I'm a man, I probably wouldn't. Yes. Thank you so much. This will never happen again. Speak for yourself. Get in the elevator, take the next floor down, take the stairs to the fire exit. They have security waiting for you in the lobby. What about you? I have my own route. It's nice seeing you, love. Thank you. Um. Ooh, I figured you'd know where to go. Earl Grey, cold milk. Oh, sweet. You remembered. I did. I'd say it's on you, but your credit cards are maxed out. Checked. All of us are getting the hell out of here. How? I managed to grab these. Want to go 101. Lock picking. Security camera record 24 hours. On the ground! On the ground now! Get on the ground right now! It's a walk. Sorry. She planted the walkie on it. What do you got? Bistro on 7th, right across... She's across the street! I stole it! Stop! 